Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Mr. V. So I hear you are just starting a course in logic. You have probably heard people say, well, it's only logical. Or OMG, that is so illogical. But what do they really mean? What is logic? So, what exactly is logic? Well, Lewis Carroll, the author of Alice in Wonderland, said the following. If it was so, it might be. And if it were so, it would be. But as it isn't, it ain't. That's logic. Uh, so you understand now, right? Well, maybe it will make more sense to hear from the most logical person there is. Our favorite half-human, half-Vulcan, first officer of the Starship Enterprise, Mr. Spock. Logic is a little tweeting bird chirping in a meadow. Logic is a wreath of pretty flowers which smell bad. Okay. Now you're probably starting to get it. Well, Merriam-Webster.com defines logic as a proper or reasonable way of thinking about or understanding something. Logic comes from the word logos. Currently, it is said that logos is defined as meaning words. But the word logos has had many meanings over time. This is Heraclitus of Ephesus. He's also known as the weeping philosopher. He was one of the earliest people to define logos. Around 500 BCE, Heraclitus used the term logos for a principle of order and knowledge. So as you can see, Logic is a language for reason. It's an attempt to explain in a systematic way the principles of valid reasoning. It helps us to separate fact from fiction, valid from invalid, and sound arguments from fallacies. Logic brings the clarity of mathematics to the language of philosophy. So, naturally, in logic, you'll be dealing with words. More specifically, when those words come together to make statements. You will learn later that a statement is any sentence that can be assigned a value of true or false. You see what I just did there? This sentence is a statement. And it's true. You will also learn that statements can be symbolically represented by a lowercase letter such as S, or T, or F. Really, the letter you choose doesn't matter. The most popular letters that you will see used in logic, used to represent statements, are the letters P and Q. So I guess, in logic, it is important to mind your P's and Q's. It's an old English expression that you really don't hear all that much anymore. So what does it mean to mind your P's and Q's? Well, it all depends on who you ask. Here are a few theories. Theory 1. Most people today would tell you that minding your P's and Q's means minding your manners. It means to remember to always say please and thank you. Or please and excuse me. Please and thank you. P's and Q's. The second theory is that bartenders would tell their patrons in 17th century England to slow down with the drinking of that beer and to mind their pints and quarts. So mind your P's and Q's. Another origin of the story of mind your P's and Q's comes from early printing presses. Printers placed individual letters on a frame to make a page of text. The letters were reversed, making it easy to mistake lowercase p's and q's in setting the type. Since they were fined for every spelling mistake, it was financially important that they remember to stay watchful of every detail. 
So always mind your P's and Q's. But why learn logic? Well, maybe learning logic will help you when working with other people. Well, no one knows more about dealing with other people than Dale Carnegie himself. He even wrote an entire book on the subject called How to Win Friends and Influence People. So let's see what he has to say about dealing with people and the importance of logic. When dealing with people, remember you are not dealing with creatures of logic, but with creatures bristling with prejudice and motivated by pride and vanity. Um, okay, well, maybe not. But logic will definitely help you develop more reasoning and processing skills and help you train your mind to think clearly. The roots of logic stretch into every other subject. The construction and programming of computers is based entirely upon the applications of the laws of logic. The proofs of algebra and geometry rely upon the laws of logic. The laws of logic, in one way or another, are fundamental to every academic discipline. So be sure to keep watching these videos to learn the fundamentals of logic. You will learn a lot and it will even be fun. Some would say doing so would be logical. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.